very good morning students uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, encoding binary into hamming code this hamming code is also called as uh, error detection as well as correction code encode the binary word 1011 into 7 bit even parity hamming code this question is many time repeated in university exam okay so now the binary word 100 1011 is to be converted into hamming code so that we have to include uh, parity bit along with it correct so uh, we have to find out number of parity bits required to transmit as a hamming code to find number of parity bits required this is the formula this is the first step to find the number of parity bits required for that we have to use trial and error method only just initially i am substituting p is equal to 3 so 2 power 3 is equal to 8 greater than as equal to x is the length of data bit length of data bit is number of data bits correct 4 so 4 and i have taken p value as 3 so i have substituted 3 plus 1 4 plus 3 7 7 plus 1 8 it is satisfying suppose if i select uh, 2 no what happens 2 power 2 is 4 and then Uh, length of x value will be 4 as it is and length of uh, p is 2 4 plus 2 6 6 plus 1 7 so 4 is greater than or equal to 7 it comes correct so it, this is not possible hence uh, we will use p is equal to 3 itself correct so if p is equal to 3 means i will get exactly 8 clear so now x is equal to 4 that is length of the uh, binary word is 4 and number of parity bits are 3 so total length of the hamming code is x plus p x plus p is nothing but 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 now after finding out length of the hamming code we have to form the table correct bit location table for that uh, we need to fit the data bit and parity bit in this table the first row is bit location and uh, we are having 7 bits so locations are 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 like that it goes even we can use 1 from uh, from 1 to 7 also 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 also correct both are same only then bit designation uh, that tells you which bit location occupies the data bit and uh, parity bit correct so generally parity bit occupies 2 power n position 2 power n means 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 0 means 2 power 1 so here we'll have the parity bit and then 2 power 1 if you substitute 2 power 1 no uh, is equal to 2 so here it occupies the parity bit and then 2 power 2 means 4 so here it occupies the parity bit and 2 power 3 2 power 3 is 8 we don't have the 8 bit so uh, in the highlighted cells no these uh, cells are occupied with the parity bits the remaining cells are um, data bits see here d7 data bits d6 data bit d5 also data bit but 1 2 4 positions are parity bit okay now we have to write binary equivalent value of these bit locations so one binary value we know 0 0 and then for 2 0 1 0 for 3 0 1 1 4 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 and then triple one correct now we have to write the data bit which is also called as information bit in this so we are having 101 which are all data bits only so we fill here as 1 the next bit is 0 1 here we don't fourth bit location we don't fill data bit because it is a parity bit position the next data bit is to be filled here correct see here now we are having four datas 1 0 Double one data bit or information bit is fitted here. Now our aim is to find out this parity bit P four, P two, and P one. For this, no, oh, we have to find out XOR operation of some bits. How we find out XOR of bits seven, five, three? No, we will consider first P one, the equivalent binary value. We check here, correct? So one is available in the LSB position. We will do the XOR of bits which are all having one in LSB. See here, the third bit is having one LSB, five is having one at the LSB, seven is having one at LSB. Correct? So we will do the XOR operation of these three: three, 
5 and then 7 correct see xr of bits 7 5 3 and the corresponding bits available bits the corresponding bits 3 there in 3 we are having 1 in 5 we are having 1 7 also having 1 so xr operation is nothing but even parity generator we are having odd number of ones 3 ones so it generates 1 to make it as even otherwise what we have to do know do the xr operation of first two bits the result is to be again xr with the third one clear instead it is very easy to do xr operation of any number of bits which is nothing but a even parity generator clear then similarly for p2 we have to do the xr operation of some bits correct i will tell you this one we have to do the xr operation of some bits okay which are all we will check it out take p2 here 1 is at the middle so we have to do the xr operation of bits which are having ones in the middle correct now see here uh, bit 3 is having 1 in the middle position bit 6 is having 1 in the middle position 7 is having 1 in the middle position so 3 6 7 correct so we can have 3 comma 6 comma 7 so in this position uh, the values are copied here 3 6 the position values are 1 0 1 correct it generates even <coughs> parity so already we are having uh, two ones hence it generates 0 similarly for, for p4 so uh, for p4 no we will have p4 1 in msb so we will consider 1 uh, in msb position bits correct so 5 is having 1 in msb 6 is having 1 in msb 7 is having 1 in msb so 5 6 7 we do the xor operation 5 6 7 are having 1 0 1 so see here P4 is XR of bits 5, 6, 7, 1, 0, 1. So, it has even number of ones, two ones. Hence, it generates 0. Now, P1 value is 1, P2 value is 0, P4 value is 0. Now, see here, a parity bits uh, positions. We will have P1 is, so now the P1 bit is, value of P1 is 1. Uh, we already found out, no, value of P2 is 0. And value of p4 is 0 okay to find out Hamming code uh, we have to combine both the data bit and parity bit uh, according with your data position correct now see here Hamming code first one is data bit correct so we will write the data bit here then data bit we will write here one is also data bit and see here and the fourth bit is a parity bit now we have to write parity bit in this position then this is a data bit, we will da write data bit, then parity bit 0 and 1. So now this 1 0 1 0 1 0 1, this code will um, will be the, your Hamming code. So finally we have to write Hamming code as 1 0 1 0 1 0 1. Okay. Thank you all for watching this.